If we're trying to find five vectors within this span of v1 and v2, we're given the two vectors v1 and v2. What this is really asking is what are all the possible answers that we can get if we were to add these two vectors up with some coefficients next to them. So we can basically rewrite this as saying something like x1, and then there's going to be 8, 2, and negative 5. And then we're going to add another x2, and here's a negative 5, 4, and 0. And this is going to equal some sort of answer here. So, you know, this is... Uh, this is the span here. This is one of the one of the five vectors, and so there could be many many answers here, depending on what coordinates, what what coefficients you put over here, right? This could be zero. It could be one. You could have you know twos or whatever. So you could literally have any kind of variables in in front of these, and then you'll have a whole bunch of different answers. So let's just start plugging in some numbers. If we set this one to be zero, then and this to be one, then um. Heck, we could set them both equal to zero, and you could get you could get zero 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 as being one of your five vectors. You could start with that one, but if you have one of them there, then you would end up with this one as being one of your answers. If you have one in each place, then uh, you could add them together. If you just have this one and this one be zero, then we would get this other answer. You could say uh, eight two and negative five. So we've already got three out of the five vectors. Let's get two more. Um, if we have one and one, then we can add them together. So let's go ahead and do that. We would get, uh, you know, three and then six and then negative five. And then uh, maybe one last one. You could take any one of these answers and just multiply it by two. One of the answers could be six, uh, 12, and then negative 10. Um, of course, you could also put this in reverse and divide everything by two or divide everything by four or multiply everything by four. So these are some of the answers you can get, and there's an infinite amount of these. This will just keep going, but this is how you kind of want to do it. You're just going to set up this little equation right here, because this is a linear combination of vectors. This will give you some answers over here, and uh, these are some possible answers that we can find here, just depending on what coordinates or what uh, coefficients we put in front of those vectors.